All right. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, this is good. So Joe Rogan calls Tony Hinchcliffe on air about AOC and her attending kill Tony. So apparently, yeah, there's some that people are saying that AOC, that AOC was actually spotted at a kill Tony. Of course, this is relevant because she, you know, she, after the MSG Trump rally, you know, she was live streaming with Tim Walls. And she talked about how disappointing it was that Tony Hinchcliffe told that terrible joke, that terrible joke. I maintained at the time, I said, okay, maybe, maybe getting a roast comic for, you know, a political rally is maybe not the best thing, but I liked it. I thought the joke was funny. The context of the joke is that there's a major trash problem in Puerto Rico. He wasn't calling Puerto Ricans trash. It was a joke. It was a joke. Again, political rally, I don't know, but personally, I liked it because it said something. It was symbolic of something. I thought it said something. It, it, it was just important. It's like, you know, you know, comedy's open for business again. And just speaking your mind is open for business again. And just not being offended by every damn thing is open for business again. But the fact that he did it, whatever. It's like, listen, man, there's going to be some people that tried to capitalize on that. And that was a big thing. Like AOC really mobilized, which is funny because I'm almost certain that AOC's been to see Kill Tony. Really? Yes. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, almost certain. Almost certain. Wait, here at the mother show? The, I don't think so here, but somewhere saw Kill Tony. Well, she probably loves it. They're all so funny. I wonder who. Let's call him up. All right. Let's get to the bottom of it. Wait, we have access. Call Tony Hinchcliffe. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude, you're live. You're live on the air right now with Dave Smith. I need to answer a question. I need a question answered. Did AOC yeah. ever come to see Kill Tony? She says that she did, but we're almost positive that she didn't. I never met her in the, any of the shows in LA. I mean, she could have conceivably have bought a ticket to Madison Square Garden, but she never posted about it. Well, she probably we wouldn't never... post about it. It's, it's too sketchy. Your, your show's sketchy. Yeah. But so how do you know that she <laughs> says that she was there? She tweeted that she's been to a taping. When all that stuff went down, she said that she's disappointed in me and <laughs> she's been to a taping. I can't remember the exact tweet right now, but it was the day of the, the day of the Madison Square Garden Trump thing. She posted, "I'm really disappointed in Tony Hinchcliffe. I'm a fan of Kill Tony and I've been to a taping. Something like that. I don't want to misquote her like she would certainly do to me." <laughs> But she's been there and she was surprised? It makes no sense. Yeah. No, nothing these people fucking say make any sense. They're out of their goddamn minds. And now their voices are quieted, thank God. Tony, America's back, baby. <laughs> America's back! Let's, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. I gotta go, brother. I love you. <laughs> and you know the thing is, too, after all of the fake outrage and virtue signaling and the legacy of media about the joke, which they refuse to give any context to after all of that, after all the bullshit, it only made Tony Hinchcliffe bigger anyway. So they failed at that as well. Thank God. It's beautiful to see, isn't it? Beautiful to see. These are people that uh, do not have your best interests at heart. They don't have your well being at heart. They're not interested in informing you. And let, trusting you to make your mind. That's not their job anymore. Their job now is to manipulate you. They are shameless and they're without conscience. And they don't care what it will do to you as long as they get their five million, eight million, ten million dollars a year. They are paid to lie to you. If they don't lie to you, they won't get paid. Do you think they're not aware of that? Do you think that somehow this is all this they do you think they really agree with everything they read off that fucking teleprompter? They can't. Nobody could. No human could. They know what they're doing, and they don't care. Maybe they just hate everybody. Maybe they just hate everyone. Everyone who's not them. Everybody who's not at their cocktail parties or their ditty parties. What is this? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And before people try to act like this is some PC, overly sensitive nonsense, I've been to Kill Tony shows. I'm from the Bronx. I don't give a shit about cr a crude humor. But don't pretend that your support for Trump is a joke. Own it. You're doing a set to support him. I don't think he denied ever at any point that he supported Trump. 
I think he pretty clearly did. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.